today we're going to talk about DNA mutations. We just completed modules on transcription and translation, which together form protein synthesis. Uh, protein synthesis is a form of gene expression, and gene expression occurs when DNA in the genetic code sends its message via RNA to make proteins. Was well, it true that everything about us is the way genes express themselves? Yes, that's right. Uh, remember, the, gen the genetic code is read three bases at a time um, when it's been transcribed to RNA. So three bases in a row make a codon. And each codon matches an amino acid, which is the monomer of proteins. So let me get this straight. It goes from DNA to RNA to amino acids? Yes, that's right. Um, so here we're going to ask three questions and try to answer them in the video. So what is the relationship between mutations and the survival of an organism? What are some ways that mutations can occur? And what types of mutations occur in a DNA? In the nucleotide sequence in DNA. So mutations occur in all organisms, from the smallest bacterial cell to the giant blue whale. Uh, they, um, they happen when mistakes are made, when uh, cells copy their DNA or when mRNA is copied from DNA. Wait a minute. I thought we had DNA polymerase there to check and proofread. Um, so how does that then happen? Well, sometimes DNA polymerase doesn't catch every mistake. Um, and then there are mutations that come through, which are changes. And there are two kinds of mutations we're going to talk about. The first one is gene mutations, and the second one is a chromosome mutation, or chromosomal mutation. So remember, a chromosome has many, many genes on it. So what's a gene mutation? Well, a gene mutation occurs in a single point or in a small area in a DNA sequence. This is called a point mutation. There are three kinds of point mutations. The first is an insertion, where one base is added. The second is a deletion, where one base is removed. And the third is a substitution, when a base is changed to a different base. So, insertion adds, deletion takes one away, and substitution just changes the amount? Yes, that's right. You got it. This mutation is called an insertion mutation. Here you can see the TGG is added right here, in between the G and the A. And you can see the extra nucleotides that are um, put in the DNA molecule which would cause a mutation. So insertion adds bases. Here you see the A is in place of the G. That's called a substitution mutation. The normal gene has the G in place. The mutated gene has an A in place of the G. Notice that it makes two different amino acids which will affect the organism. Point mutation occurs in one base or pair of bases. Here you can see that the G and C are uh, substituted for a T and A. So the organism may see an effect in the protein when this change is made. This is called a point mutation. One place. This diagram shows a deletion. When a deletion occurs, it's a point mutation that causes a change in the frame shift. Notice that these occur in threes, and when the G is removed, all these bases move over, and you end up, so these three now become this codon, and these three become this codon, and then these two are not a full codon, they're short. So notice the GLU here is different from the LYS, the ALA here is different from the HIS. So the amino acids that are made are different from the original DNA sequence. And the T is changed um, in place of a C, which creates the same amino acid. Here, the organism is not going to notice change, because the amino acids made is the same as the original. So a silent mutation is not seen. Uh, this next one where the A is changed for the T, it 
becomes a stop codon, which would stop the production of that protein. That could be a major change. Now, uh, there are two other mutations here that create uh, amino acids that are very different. One of them, this one is similar to the lysine over here, the arginine, but this one is different in shape from the lysine in the beginning. So some of these will have a big effect on the organism and some of them will not have a big effect on the organism. The sequence of bases in DNA is like letters in a coded message. What would happen if a few of those letters accidentally changed, altering the message? Sometimes it's beneficial, the mutation is beneficial, it could be harmful, or it may not even be noticed by the organism. So, even if there is a mutation happen, I mean, I know sometimes when mutations happen, you have children with six fingers, but some mutations don't harm at all. That's right. We're going to see how some mutations uh, will not change the protein, will not change the product that it makes, so it wouldn't or, uh, affect the organism. Um, I want to talk about chromosomal mutations now. So chromosomal mutations affect really large sections of genes, lots and lots of genes, not just one base in the DNA. So one type uh, is a translocation. That's where a section of uh, a chromosome moves to another area in that chromosome and changes the order of the bases. An inversion mutation is a type of translocation where it reverses order of the bases. And I will draw this out for you on the slide so you can see this. The albino alligator on the left was born without melanin, which gives it its skin color. The baby with six toes on each foot also has a mutation. 